So this is our big custom work trailer. We want to show you why we have a big custom work trailer. We basically want to show up with no expectation of the site having anything for us with power, water, sewer, anything. We bring our own bathroom, we bring our own power, and we bring our own fuel. It uses about 20 gallons roughly per week if we run it all day. It's not an absurd cost for having power, um, and the timing is what helps. It, we don't have to wait for PG&E if they're even getting PG&E, and we surely don't have to wait till solar and batteries and everything's installed to be able to have power. And cordless is great, but they still need to charge somehow and some corded tools are tough to replace at the moment. They're making them better. They make great table saws, great chop saws, things that have been known to be primarily corded, but you still have to power them somehow. You still have to charge your batteries. And uh, ideally, we just have the ability to charge them, but not be limited to a small generator that can only charge batteries. It can still run full-size equipment. Uh, subcontractors that might have older tools, that might have big, three horsepower mixers and whatever, they can still use our stuff and have power just like any other place. In the front of it, we have a Perkins diesel generator. It does up to 21,000 watts. We have a 50 amp uh, sub panel on it that lets us split it up into several different circuits. That way, if one guy is running one thing, you don't have to time it to try to run the microwave only when you're not running the chop saw, only when you're not using the air compressor. It can all run at the same time. We don't trip breakers. Uh, so it's great. We keep all of our tools, or I should say primarily our hand tools, in the side access hatch here. All of our nail guns, saws, drills, and the batteries go up top. We throw dead ones on the left side. We have them labeled. We do need to redo some of the labels because we've started using Makita 40 volt and some of the new stuff, new platforms come out and we just got to try them and start liking them and start using them more. So you throw dead ones in here. If you pull it off of a tool, for example, come back to the trailer, throw it in there, and in a perfect world, whenever you happen to be walking inside, pull them off the charger, put freshly charged batteries in your tools, that way you're not making unnecessary trips inside of it, and for whole days sometimes you can just operate touching the side of it. You don't have to go inside every single time. You are protected from the rain, which is kind of nice. We do work in the rain all winter, so it's nice to come here, check in, do whatever you need, grab paper towels, grab glue and spray items, and little things that might be there, easy to access. One of the other components that we have is a VFD, a variable frequency drive. It converts the generator's power from single phase to three phase, and it, it softens it. It does a soft start so that when the generator starts, the air compressor isn't fed full power. It, it trickles it, and if you think of it as kind of a dimmer for a light switch, uh, it only it, it limits the power that the trailer is putting out there, and it does it in a safe way so that you can run electronics and cleans up the power. I am by no means an electro engineer, anything close to it, and I don't know what all that means. I just know that we can run computers on it, we can safely run our three phase air compressor, and we can build a whole house with our trailer. So that's our goal. You can actually open these from the inside too. We open these things very infrequently, but if we're working in the winter and it's incredibly stormy, and you just need to get in here to get tools. Sometimes we'll keep the sides totally, you know, closed and walk in here and you can get in here to get tools. They're super heavy because they're plumb full of fasteners. So you have to lift up a little bit, but it works. The chop saw station. This is one of my favorite parts because everyone loves a good chop saw station. And this is the first time we built a trailer where we have it in a non-main area. We typically would put it kind of bench mounted inside. In this case, we had a aluminum thing fabricated, swings down and catches it. And you can park it right here, make all your cuts right here if you want to. It is less common because you often can't park the trailer in such a convenient spot. And often you don't want to park it in such a convenient spot because then you're driving by it and you just, you don't want to. It does have big eight inch rubber tires on it. You can drive the thing just about anywhere or tow it rather, it doesn't actually drive itself but it's got big beefy handles on both sides. You can take it through ruts and bumps and take it just about anywhere to make your cuts, set up your station, and it's easy. It has a place to be stored. It's not just propped up against the wall. We end up taking our trailer to crazy rural job sites sometimes, and we wanted something that's gonna hold it. It's gonna not jump out. It's not gonna fall over. It's not gonna explode on the ground. And it's just one thing to hold it. It's just kind of a cam lock style lock. And that's all, it can roll, roll in and out. Comes out pretty easily. 
and it's not terribly heavy and you actually don't have to lift it up entirely at any given point. You can set one side down. Don't high center it. And grab the other side, walk off with it. So you don't actually have to pick the whole thing up and hurt your back trying to lug it out to where you have the, the legs at and you can set it on it. It all just stays together. We do have these extensions here that they pop onto here. I think you can take both sides out about eight feet, five, 10 feet. So you can do two on each side. It works. It works very well. Oh, proper form. I don't lift weights, some of you can probably tell. Bad form, dad bod. We keep a few extra blades, pile of sawdust. What more could you ask for out of a chop saw station? Well, there she is. That's our trailer. Uh, we really try to make everything as efficient as possible. We don't always hit the mark, but every time we develop something within the company or try to grow a certain part of it or add a new division or whatever, we're always trying to think of how to make it more efficient and even individual tasks. And the trailer is kind of an extreme example of that, but it's us trying to make a trailer that's prepared. We can show up with no power. We can show up with a big bank full of batteries. It's got all the air we could ever ask for. The rivers can use it and never run out. We can do uh, you know, shear nailing, never run out of air. We can run several different pieces of uh, electric equipment off of it and not trip breakers. We aren't fumbling and bumbling with undersized stuff. We wanted to make something that's solid, that works that has an expected routine for how to take care of it, and it takes care of us, helps us build houses. So that's our trailer. <laughs>